Hi guys, Take James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to set up USB Loader GX on your Nintendo Wii without any issues at all. So this is actually kind of cool. You guys should know what this is anyway. It basically allows you to run Wii ISOs off a USB hard drive or SSD and just play them like a regular Wii game. So the Wii I'm going to be using in this video uh, pretty much only has D2XC iOS installed on it. You will need this installed if you wish to get this working correctly. Without it, you just won't be able to get it working at all. Basically what this is is custom firmware and I will leave a link to it in the description so you guys can watch the video. But yeah, as I said, this works on USBs. I've just got a 16 gigabyte USB right here. I could do it on this if I wish to. I also have a hard drive, um, 20 gigabyte. I'm pretty sure I got this out of PlayStation 3 like a few years ago. It would work with this. And I've also got a solid state drive here, which was actually sent to me by a company called Tom Top. Um, they sell like a load of products like this, and they decided to send me a 240 gigabyte solid state drive. So I think the name is Osku, as I, if I can pronounce that correctly. It's obviously like a Japanese brand, but it's actually pretty cool. Uh, this is what the drive is like itself. It's very small, and this is actually very useful for playing Wii games. Um, perfect size, 240 gigabyte. You will be able to copy across your, the games very fast to this. Obviously, it's very high speed. Um, the speeds are actually on the front of the box right here. As you can see, the read and write speed are 550. So yeah, very cool. Um, if you guys would like to purchase one, I will leave a link to one in the description of this video so you guys can check out their website. It's also 2.5 inch and um, yeah, it's a pretty cool small solid state drive. So I will be using this to play my Wii games off of. So to get any kind of hard drive working on your Nintendo Wii, you will need a USB to USB connected to a SATA adapter. So what I can do is simply just plug this into the SATA adapter and then plug this into the back of my Wii and then I can also just plug this into my computer so I can copy the files across and then for your Wii's SD card I've just got an SD to USB adapter this is what I use to plug it into my PC each time so I can copy across the files I need for any kind of homebrew application or just USB loader GX um, in this video so what I'm going to do now is connect both of these to my PC using the USBs and then I will show you guys what to do next. Okay guys, so over on your computer, I'm going to try and make this as simple as possible. This does work for the Wii U as well, so you can actually do it on the Wii U by using this video, um, but it might be slightly different. I'm not 100% sure because I'm not really an expert um, with the virtual Wii. But anyway, once you're over on the SourceForge page for the USB Loader GX, you actually want to scroll down. Now we want to open two links here. We want to open this link right here. Now what we're going to do is just wait 5 seconds and it's going to start downloading the USB loader GX files that we need for our SD card. So now we have that downloaded, we can close out this. The second link we need to open is the WAD so we can install it to the home screen. Two versions here, one for the Wii U that has a V in the front of it and then one for the normal Wii which I want which is this one. So I'm going to also click on this. Again, wait five seconds, and then it will start downloading the WAD file so we can install it to our home screen. So once we have these two files, we don't need the SourceForge page anymore. So the next website we need to go to is Pimp My Wii. Basically what Pimp My Wii is, is a WAD installer so we can install the WAD file to get this on our home screen. So basically just scroll all the way down and you want to click the download button right here and it will start downloading the Pimp My Wii files. So once we've got these three files downloaded, head over to your PC's downloads folder. They should look exactly like this. Go onto your Nintendo Wii's SD card and you actually want to right click, create a new folder and simply call it WADS, W-A-D-S and just leave it as that. Now back to your downloads folder, you want to drag and drop this file into the WADS folder. This is the USB loader GX WADS, so that makes sense. Now what we need to do is double click on the Pimp My Wii file folder, double click on this file folder, double click on apps and simply drag this into your apps folder onto your SD card. Now we need to do exactly the same thing with USB Loader GX, double click on it, go into the apps folder 
and drag and drop USB loaded GX into your apps folder on your Wii's SD card. Now once all these files are copied across to your Wii's SD card, you can always you know, just go ahead and check they're on there, but they all should be on there fine. You can go back to your downloads folder and you can delete them because we won't be needing them anymore. Now that is it for the Wii's SD card, you can actually just disconnect it because we won't be needing to do anything else with it. Now we are onto the hard drive, SSD or USB or whatever you're using part. So I've got my solid state drive connected right here and these are the games I wish to add. So I've got a game in the WBFS format. You can tell because it's in the file folder and that's just the format it's in. And then I've also got a Mario Kart Wii which is in the ISO format which I will need to convert before putting it onto my SSD hard drive or USB or whatever I'm using. So I'll get onto this in a minute and it's entirely up to you where you get your games from. Both of these are backed up off of my official disks. So back into my downloads folder, we're actually just going to go onto our internet browser right now. And we're actually going to get two programs. The first program, this is used for formatting basically any USB or hard drive or SSD to FAT32. So what we want to do on this website is click on FAT32 formatter. At the top where it says the GUI version, click on here. Simply click on this image and that will start downloading the formatter for us. Once the formatter has finished downloading, we want to go over to the next link, which is the Wii Backup Manager. This is what we use for converting our games across to our hard drive. So just click on Build 78. This is the latest version. It will then bring you to this link, scroll down and just click on Download. There might be a few ads, so you just might want to skip them. But when you get to this page, it should automatically start downloading. So now we have got all the software we need back over to our downloads folder. We want to run the GUI format. So we're going to double click on this. Click yes. Now we're going to select our E drive, which is my SSD. Make sure you do not select the C drive. Make sure you click the drive, which is correct. Allocation size, it should set it for you at default. In volume label, I'm going to give it Wii, all in capitals. Select quick format and then just click on start. Just click on OK. This will delete everything on the drive. Now we can simply click close on this once the bar has reached the end. So now we can see our drive is completely blank. If we right click and go to properties, we can see the file system is FAT32, which is correct for getting Wii games to work. So back over in the downloads folder, we want to double click on the Wii backup manager. Uh, we don't actually have to um, extract it, just simply choose your PC's version, Windows 32 or Windows 64, mine's 64, so I'm going to double click on that. Then just click on yes. Now we can just close out of the zip file. So once this starts up, we actually want to sort out our ISO before we get this thing working. So we're just going to minimize out of this real quick. Now what you want to do is find your ISO, right click and copy it. Now go onto this PC, Windows C or whatever drive it is, and you actually want to create a new file folder here. So right click, new folder and what you want to call it is WBFS. Now inside of this folder this is where you need to paste in all of your Nintendo Wii ISO games. As you can see mine's already pasted it in. I didn't want you guys to wait you know watching it copy because that's just pointless. So it's in here right now and I will show you guys what to do next. So open up the backup manager, select drive 1. This is where you select your Windows drive. So select that. Now it's come up with the game that we just copied across in here. So what we're going to do is just tick the box on this one. Select drive 2. This is where you select your USB, hard drive, SSD, whatever you're connecting to your Nintendo Wii console. So we're going to select drive E. It says it does not have a WS folder. Create it now. Click on yes. Now it's just going to create it. Should take a second. Go back onto drive 1. We're going to select transfer and select drive 2. Now because I'm using an SSD, this is actually going to copy across quite fast. Uh, depending on what you're using, it could be a lot slower, um, you know, it could like freeze and stuff. That's why I'd recommend using an SSD. They're actually really nice for copying across games. But yeah, just give this maybe like a minute to copy across. Obviously if you're using something that's a lot slower, maybe give it up to 10 minutes. But I will be back when this thing is done. 
So guys, now it has done. I think that took maybe about two minutes. It didn't really take that long. We can now close out of the Wii Backup Manager software. And just a note, guys, if you have lots of ISO games, you can just tick all of them and then do transfer. You don't have to do one at a time. But let's just close out of this. So now what we're going to do is go back to my downloads folder because I'm going to show you guys the second game I've got. Now this game is already in the WBFS format as you can see and it's in the correct file folder. So with this one we can simply drag and drop it into my WBFS folder. So these are the two types of Wii games which you can have and this is basically how you get them both onto your hard drive or USB so you can plug it into your Wii and get it to work. So as you can see this is in the WBFS format as well and now we've got two games which should be working fine and guys just a quick note um, before you disconnect your device what you want to do is just click the arrow down here click on the safely remove hardware and now just select your device so now it's going to eject it safely and it won't corrupt any games or anything like that this is very important if you're using an ssd or a hard drive so that is literally it for the computer i can now go back onto my nintendo wii and show you how to set all of this stuff up So whatever device you end up using, it must be connected in the right port exactly at the back. Now on your Wii or Virtual Wii, the first thing you want to do is actually just open up the Homebrew menu. So let's just go and open up the Homebrew channel right now. Just press A on Start. So now what we're going to do is install the WAD to our home screen. So let's open up pimp my Wii, just press A and then press A on load. We want to scroll all the way down and just press A on WAD. You can leave it on what other iOS it selects and just press on A. So now we're just going to select um, where our WAD is stored. Ours is on the SD card so we're going to leave it on this and just press A to continue. Now we're going to scroll down to where it says WADs and press the A button. We're going to find our USB loader GX WAD and press A to install it. So what we're going to do is press um, A to continue on this part. So just give it maybe a few seconds. When it's done, press A to continue. And then it will bring us back to this. So what we're going to do is actually exit out by pressing B. Uh, B to go back again and now we're on the main menu so we're going to scroll down to exit and just press the A button. Now we can actually close out of the homebrew menu, press the home button and go to exit to system menu. So here it is guys, you should be able to see it on your home screen right now, USB loader GX. So we can press A on it and it will load up just like this. So now we can just press A just to start it up. So what it's going to do now is just check for the files on the SD card, uh, check for your USB, um, hard drive or SSD and now it's just going to load up. So as you can see it's loaded up just like this and it's found all my games. I actually copied across a couple of extra games. I've got Black Ops, um, here's Mario Kart Wii, here's um, newer Super Mario Bros, uh, the Mario Kart collection which was already in WBFS and we've also got Smash Bros on here. So what we can do is just find any game and press A on it to launch it. Now this is also um, region free as well. Um, my Wii is like a Europe one and these are all um, like USA ISOs. So I'm going to launch up uh, Mario Kart Wii right now. Just press A and you can see it lets me press A on start. So that is literally it. Hopefully this video was simple. Um, I haven't really done anything with this Wii. All it's got is a few emulators uh, and CIOS installed. And all of these videos will be recently on my channel. So hopefully you guys can get this working because it is pretty easy. And quite a lot of people have problems with it. Even though I've never really had any issues. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.